Hey, what's up guys? This is your boy Montre. What's going on? Uh, I just want to talk about, just really quick, what is sex like? Like, if you had to describe what sex was like, how would you describe sex? And for me, um, you really need to be compatible with the person you're having sex with. You could, sex is like, for me, just for me, and I'm just talking from my personal experience, sex for me is like dancing. You can dance with anybody you want to. You get on that dance floor and dance with anybody you want to. But there's only one person that's gonna know your rhythm. There's only one person on that dance floor, maybe two, maybe three, maybe four, <laughs> that's gonna know your rhythm and be able to freestyle with you or know your moves and, and go with the flow with you. If you've ever been to a party or a club and you've been on the dance floor, everybody doesn't know how to dance. And even for the people that do know how to dance, everybody's not gonna dance like you. So you go around that dance floor looking for that right person. You look, you look, you look, and you look at, oh, okay, he looks good, she looks good. All right, I see you moving, I see you moving. And that's what sex is like. You got those people who are looking, you got those people who are showing off. You know what I mean? You got the people who are looking and you got the people who are showing off. All right? And then when you get together with somebody, you got those who are gonna lead and you got those who are gonna follow. You gotta know your role. You gotta know if you're gonna follow or you gotta know if you're gonna lead, okay? Because you both can't lead at the same time. And sex is very much like that. You can't have two people who wanna lead. Somebody's gotta be like, all right, what do you wanna do? Let me make you happy. I'm gonna do whatever you do, all right? At the same time, it's a, a comfort level. Uh, some people know the salsa. They know how to do a very passionate way of uh, making love, and they do a lot of things. And some people are very basic. They do very, <laughs> like a two-step, you know? All they know is the electric slide. <laughs> so if, if all you know is the electric slide, and that's all you know how to do, then you don't need to get with somebody who knows the salsa and they know how to spin and dip and do all these other type of things that you've never heard of. You can't get with that person. You can't get with just anybody in sex. You can try. And some people are good followers and they learn stuff really quickly. But some people are very stuck in their ways and all they know is the electric slide, if you get my drift. So that's what sex is like. Some people just know one thing and they do that thing all the time. Matter of fact, they don't even do anything until a certain song comes on. Some people are like that. And some people are always on the dance floor. Get my drift? I'm using a lot of metaphors here, but what I'm saying is everybody has sex differently. You know what I mean? And a lot of people, will, what, what, what one person considers a freak is not necessarily freaky to somebody else. And everybody wants to think they know how to have sex, but no, it's not true. And that's why I always say you have to really have sex with somebody before you decide you want to do a long-term relationship with them. For these people who want to wait till they get married or till they have sex, I really feel sorry for you. And at one point, I was like that. I was that person. But you really need to know a person on a sexual level. On a mental level, you have to know them. You have to know them on an intimate level, on an emotional level. Know what hurts their feelings, know what, what breaks their heart, know what makes them happy. But you have to know them on a sexual level. You got to know what turns them on. And in the same way, you have to know yourself on a sexual level. If you have never really experimented with your own body by yourself, then how are you going to tell somebody else? Okay? What's, what do I always say? If you don't do it, who will? You got to know yourself. You got to know your own body. You know what I mean? Uh, on the gay world, you have to know if you're a top or bottom. If you never play with your ass and you be like, Oh, I'm tough, I'm tough. Have you ever played with your ass? Have you ever tried? You may like it. I'm versatile. You know what I mean? So you gotta decide. You gotta figure it out. Know your role. Know what you like to do. Know what turns you on. Know what, know how your body feels when you do certain things. Um, and know that. Know the same thing about your partner. Maybe your partner likes to do certain things. Maybe they like to be slapped or choked or tied up or peed on. Now, I don't like those things, but there are certain people who do. But you need to know these things about, 
the person you're dating before you get in there. Actually, that needs to be a conversation before, while you're dating. Like, what kind of things you like to do that I need to know about, you know what I mean? So, those are little things that you need to know. Sex is very important, but yeah. Sex for me is like a dance. Matter of fact, uh, dancing for me is like foreplay. <laughs> <laughs> if I go to a party and I'm dancing and I'm dancing with you, it's it's part of the foreplay. I'm learning something about you sexually already. Just about how you, the rhythm you get with me and how you move your hips with me, everything. You know, I said this on uh, Facebook and Instagram, which you can follow me there. Um, but I said twerking is the only thing that you can do by yourself where the uh, female pretty much is leading or um, not all women twerk but you know what I mean like the passive partner pretty much leads uh, the whole dance so because you're, you're shaking your booty you're shaking your booty and we won't do it I can't twerk it off I can't twerk it off. I have no ass I have no ass I can't twerk as they say, my mom says I have a Mexican booty. Anyways, what is sex like for you? Like, if you had to describe sex, how would you describe it? Give me your two cents about that. That is your homework project for today. Leave me a comment below. Because if you don't do it, then who will? Talk to you guys later. Peace out.